Good morning. This is Jerry3904 on the MX Linux Forum, and I'm here with a video about how easy it is to change from one MX version to another once you have one installed. This is the setup I'm sitting in front of at this very moment. I'm, I'm using my Raspberry Pi 5 over there to uh, do this, but the process I'm going to show you can work with any MX version and on any machine where that MX installs. Next to it, by the way, is an Orange Pi 5. I really like that. I spend a lot of time on it. For people who leave early, this is a quick, quick step on how you do it. You're going to launch package installer, select KDE or Fluxbox, click the install button, and log out and use the icon in the center of the top bar. To one of the advantages, <coughs> two big ones, one is it lets you check out and test another version without doing the whole download, create the SD, etc. And then for people who currently have MX Fluxbox on Raspberry Pi, this is a simple way to get the current, that is to say Debian Bookword version. Okay, so let's take a look and see how it all actually goes. This is, a, uh, this is uh, MX, the Raspberry Pi, 5 on a Pi 5 machine, but what I'm going to show you will work on any MX install. I've changed the background because it's a fun background and moved the, I normally like the panel on the, the default position, but I've moved it down below, uh, and that's about all. So what we're going to do is to simply click over here on the menu icon, go to package installer, and here you're going to make your choice. You're either going to choose under desktop environments, you're going to choose KDE 5 standard, and it doesn't say it, but that is the MX uh, KDE version. So you'd either check that, or you'd go down to Window Managers and check Fluxbox. And here it does say with the MX Fluxbox settings. Since it serves other purposes of mine, I'm going to choose to go with the uh, Fluxbox install. This is awfully simple. Click Install. I have to provide a password. Now it's told me, so I can say OK. You're going to get this question about using the default or establishing a new one. We're going to put in, a, we want the package, the, the new package, because it has to do with, uh, with uh, Fluxbox, so I'm going to say yes, and we're done. So now I can get out, and now the sum total of what I have to do is to, um, is to exit. So I'm going to use this exit icon, exit, and I'm going to log out. Okay, now we're back on the login screen, and we're going to go right to the top where there's a hamburger icon. It's actually white on black, and we're going to click on that hamburger icon to open the session chooser. And that's there we're going to click on Fluxbox, which is what we're working on, and just then log in with the user, and we'll be in Fluxbox. If you had chosen to install KDE instead, then this is what the login screen would look like. You'd click on the session manager and you'd choose Plasma, uh, one of the two Plasmas, either X11, the traditional Linux system, or Plasma with Wayland, the alternative uh, system. Uh, KDE does work with Wayland, unlike, Flux, unlike Fluxbox and uh, XFCE, but I don't have much experience with it and I, I'm going to stay with what I already know. Log in and you're on the KDE desktop. This is exactly like what you would get if you'd gone through the whole process to install MX uh, Linux for our, for, uh, with KDE. Uh, it's a very clean desktop, looks great. Notice, by the way, that the hard drive here is only 22%, even though I have three operating systems. That's because I'm booting from an NVMe, a non-volatile memory express, that has 128 gigs, and I've got lots of room. So there we go. I've logged into Fluxbox, and here it is. This is the Fluxbox that you would get with tiny uh, changes, but the Fluxbox that you would get if you did an install. 
Uh, it's, it's a great desktop. You'll notice right away that there's some problem with the com key up in the right hand corner and that's because in XFCE there's a desktop, a real desktop and it's set for a real desktop. There is no desktop in Fluxbox so we have to fix any com key that we put there and I will fix that and that's the only thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to click on App Finder here I'm going to, well, there's Conkey Manager right there. There's Conkey Manager. I'm going to scroll down till I see the one that's checked. There it is. Highlight it. Go up and click on the gears. Go to Transparency. And we're going to, we're going to trick the system to say, give me a pseudo-transparent. And you can see that down here it explains what that what that is. So we'll apply that. Ta-da! Now we have the Conkey correctly there over in the right hand. So that's how you fix that. Conkey Manager is how you handle the 50 or so Conkeys that we have here. So there you are with